I'm sure I speak for everybody in expressing our deep appreciation to South Africa and the whole team for the great diplomatic skill with which they conducted the Council's business last month. We'll pass lightly over their rugby skills, uh, but <laughs> congratulations uh, to South Africa uh, for winning the Rugby World Cup uh, in Japan. She gave me a rugby ball on um, Friday handover, so I'm going to say, Karen, thank you very much. That was a very good good omen. Uh, we won. But we remain friends. We're going to visit next to one another, right? But I think it was a very good game uh, for South Africa. As uh, the captain and the president said, we really needed something like that for nation building. But also for the council. They can see now, you know, we can work in all respect, in the council, on and off field. So we have to reform through the council now. <laughs> Well, that uh, really make it uh, proud. I think that the uh, South Africa team really delivered. And uh, the result they got uh, now, they are the World Cup in the rugby, so we are all of us uh, very, very proud. So we con all of us uh, send congratulations to our brother, Ambassador Jerry. First of all, congratulations, it's amazing. Um, we all stood up and celebrate, it's our victory in Africa. Um, but as the UN, I think, you know, when we step back to 1995 and we saw the last time you won and what Madiba was doing to use um, sport uh, to, to bridge that divide, this is another opportunity. And I think that that's what we should focus on is that, you know, how our diversity is, uh, makes us richer, makes us better um, and rather rather than the weaknesses that we look at. And it's an important time for, for South Africa, a reflection, um, to see what you can do and how far you've come, um, and to consolidate on that and just, you know, make that the ambition, that how can you do this bigger and better and not slide.